Well, good afternoon. It is Thursday, September 27th, 2018. And my name is Mike Teeter, and I just want to say hello to family, friends, and uh, Greater Life Church, and anyone else that would tune in for a few moments, few minutes. And I do want to share, as you know, when I normally come on, I share normally one verse or verses passage. And so I'm going to share in just a moment, Matthew 25, Matthew 25, 35 through 40, Matthew, <clears throat> Matthew 25. And many of you know me, and I hope if not, maybe you have passed this along, that I have a heart of compassion, a heart to care and, and love people. And listen, God's love is for everyone. I will mention and share that for many years, uh, God had me pastor a church that I started, that God had me start New Destiny Community Church. And a few months ago, he spoke to me to redirect and team up with Andrew Bird and Greater Life Church. And so I'm thankful to be a part of Greater Life Church of Mint Hill, Matthews, Mint Hill, North Carolina. And I've come on board to help however needed, but especially for missions and outreach. This church is combined gar memorial mint hill community church combined a little over a year ago and they've been uh gathering in other words uh services church services and and getting to know relationships and they've been growing uh, they've been discipling and, and growing as people and doing some community efforts and supporting and doing some missions efforts but now listen I'll, i'm going to pause for a moment Listen, time is short. Listen, Jesus is coming back any day, and we need to be ready. Uh, I see a few people tuning in, and I believe there will be others that will watch this or watch the recording. But listen, beyond anything else, this world, our friends, our families, our coworkers, our communities, this world needs Jesus, needs the love of God, needs to know that there is hope. We need to know that. And... Listen, we cannot go another day without the love of God. I can't go another day without knowing that God loves me and there is hope for tomorrow. Listen, three years ago, I'll just mention, and I'm going to keep mentioning, I had cancer and unexpectedly, I don't, I'm not a drinker, a smoker, or the list goes on. Uh, I've lived right overall. Listen, we're all sinners saved by grace. But I've lived the right way, but still cancer hit me. But what do I say? Praise God. Three years later, I'm still standing. But I also realized with that, that this time God kept me alive for a reason. And for one of those reasons is to share his love. One of those reasons is that I heard it once said, I don't want to just be gathered in a church. No, I want to be at the foot gates of hell, keeping people from hell, keeping people from losing their salvation, or not losing their salvation, different story, but from uh, not making heaven. We want people to know God's love. Now, my daughter wasn't feeling good today, so she I'm actually home with her today, and she's not feeling better, but looks like she's getting better. Right, thumbs up, people, all right? All right, all right, Caitlin, go back to it and rest. All right, she really was. I got called and uh, picked her up at school. So listen, I'm going to share this one verse and share a few testimonies a little bit, and I think many are turning in right now. Matthew 25, listen to this. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison. And you came to visit me. Matthew 25, 37. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something, hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or needing clothes and clothe you? When did, we, when did we see you sick or in prison or go and visit you? The king will reply, catch this, the king, king.